today our reading is asking for predictions for June 2023. So we have three piles, pile one, pile two, pile three, and what you do is choose the pile or piles that intuitively speak to you and then you head down to the description box and click on the timestamp and it will take you to your reading. So for pile number one, we have Passion Flower and this Topaz and Silver Triangle. Pile number two, we have Rose and this purple or violet flower. In pile number three, we have Sage and this heart and crescent moon symbol. Now if you need more time to make your choice, feel free to pause the video now. Otherwise head down to the timestamps and I will see you in your reading. Welcome pile number one to your June 2023 predictions and you have chosen this passion flower card and it says exuberant quietude and it's just bursting forth onto the scene with such energy such power and you've also chosen this topaz triangle symbol which to me means that something really really significant is coming this is the kind of eye of the storm symbol in my charms it's like something really really affecting something massive is coming and you can see I don't know if you can see in here the topaz how it's it's streaming forth with all of its rainbow colors in the middle of like this divine timing moment and here we also have these just streams of rainbow colors like surging forth towards you something very very significant is happening for you pile number one in June so let's get some more information okay can we please have some more information some more symbols for pile number here we go number one Okay, you've got the boot and the strawberry. Some really juicy opportunity for movement, travel, um, stepping forth on your career path. Some like really juicy opportunity to move forward in your life in some way or even to take a stand for something. Okay, let's leave it that way, the way it came up first. Okay, can we please have another symbol? That one popped up. The letter, wow, you are getting some amazing news, pile number one. Or 
you are moving forward with a plan. That one wants to come out too in the house. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Okay. So the letter in conjunction with the house. I read the house as this could be a new home, perhaps you're signing onto a new home, you're stepping forth onto that property ladder, perhaps you're upgrading um, your accommodation, um, but I also see the house as a place of employment. And so here we have this um, letter, which can be read as a contract, or perhaps there's an offer coming to you on your email, on your messages. Um, something to do with your security in the world. Like a really exciting opportunity, like to own your own home, to move somewhere that you've always wanted to live. Perhaps you've been planning this for a while. You've been perhaps manifesting it. And it is finally coming true. And... Um, it is just a sweet, delicious opportunity. Yeah, a big, big event for you in June. So if you are looking for a new home, or if you're looking to move um, overseas or to, to a different area to start afresh, perhaps you've been in contact with, with a, a job, um, in this new area, and you're going to receive that offer of employment, you're going to receive the, the lease or the contract on the house, you're going to receive the mortgage that you're looking for, the home loan. Very, it's a very exciting move into something that gives you a sense of stability. And that's like those, those strong foundations for your life going forward, something that you have dreamed of and something that you have been manifesting. So well done for sending out those excellent vibrations of, of manifestation because your, your wish is coming true, your dream is coming true in June, pile number one. Okay, we're going to look at some tarot cards now. Okay, I've got one more deck. Oh, hold on. Okay. He kind of did and didn't want to come out. The temperance card. So we're going to pop temperance over here. I was a little bit unsure. Strengths. Haven't here. Okay. Decision to be made, massive opportunity. Okay, very, very clear over here. Hmm. Wow, huge opportunity. Two aces and the king of wands. We're getting another one over here. Okay, yes, your ships are coming in. The three, the three of wands is that I just noticed the bottom of the deck. So perhaps you've been feeling a little bit, um, we'll just pop that card here. And we've got the hanged man underneath. So perhaps you've been feeling a bit stuck, a bit trapped in your situation. You've been making moves bold moves. This is not looking quite um, even here. There we go. Yeah, you've been making bold moves. You've been applying for a new job. You've been um, requesting perhaps a promotion. Um, perhaps that's a promotion that involves moving um, into a new area. Perhaps it's a new area of focus for your business. Um, you've been making moves. You've been feeling like 
a bit trapped in your situation and then all of your hard work, all of your manifestation is, is coming home to roost. You're waiting for your ships to come in um, and those ships are, are coming. Um, this letter is arriving, the offer is arriving. You've done extremely well to sort of handle this energy of feeling, feeling a bit trapped, feeling a bit stuck, feeling a little bit unsure of how to move forward. But you've managed to balance that in a really beautiful way, pile number one, where that kind of negative aspect has actually served to motivate you and to um, give you the energy and um, that motivation to move forward with this beautiful power. You know, this is bold, this is bright, um, and it is charismatic. You've moved forward, you've taken some kind of action, and you are reaping the reward. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. For some reason, I want to get another card here next to the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see what it is. One more card, please. Next to Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ace of Swords, like three aces. Oh my gosh. Wow. And I just, I couldn't help but get another card. And it's the world. Like, your dreams are coming true, pile number one, in June. This is incredible energy. Just this bursting forth, like everything that you have wanted, this new opportunity that you have wanted is coming in now. It is coming in now, the energy is now. And like I said, you've managed to balance that uncomfortable, you know, feeling by actually turning that into the energy of motivation to apply, to look for the new home, to make those moves and Hold your vibration high, and that is what has created this amazing manifestation. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, One, One, One. King of Wands holding a one here, so we've got a, the One, 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 One portal, 11, 11. You're still in the dark here right now, but this is coming in. This is coming in fast, pile number one. You have made the moves, like kudos to you, pile number one. The world, this whole new world is at your doorstep, is coming in. You'll receive the news that will transform your world. This is a whole brand new journey. This is a brand new opportunity that you, with your manifestation power, have brought forth. And this is with divine guidance as well as divine protection. You have heard the call of your soul, of your higher self, and of your um, spirit guides and guardian angels. You have heard the call and you made the move to put your foot into the water, to um, test the waters, um, is the saying, by making those applications looking on the real estate, websites, whatever. You heard the call, and this was a divine calling. And this is about you ascending, upgrading um, into your new chapter. Such a significant month for you, pile number one. Like, this is like boss energy, but this is boss energy of that creative manifestation kind. This is like I can bring forth the opportunities that I would like to create and that I would like to experience. Wow. King of Wands and Strength. You've just done extremely well. Pile number one. Extremely well. Like there's a real sense of like a shine of just pride and love from your spirit team um, 
for making this move, for being bold and for heeding the call because it was a call from deep within your soul and the ships are coming in. Financial ships, the clarity of um, action and this whole new passionate beginning. Beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful reading. Pile number one. Hmm. I feel like your reading is just so crystal clear. Do we want some, perhaps some extra oracle cards would be nice. Just to close off your beautiful reading, pile number one. So we're going to ask for one or more unicorn cards, please. Try something new, absolutely. Ace, ace, ace. This is something new. And this is not something um, to be afraid of. This new thing is exactly um, what you've wanted. It's what you've always wanted. This is, this is a wish coming true energy. Share. When you share, everyone feels happy. Like, this is just um, receive with love. Receive with love. You know, the universe wants to adorn you in these flowers. Um, yeah, your spiritual team is just so proud of you, and there's just like a real glow of love, and I don't know if respect is the right word, but it's like a real, like, Go you, you're doing amazing, and you're connected also to your inner calling. So this new thing, I'm just going to put these on here, and then we'll get one more. This new thing is going to be so good for you, and it is safe for you to try this new thing. You'll only know that you can do something if you try. We're just going to get the last one. To get along with others, see the love and the best within them. Yeah, there's a journey here. There's some kind of movement um, from one situation to another in June. Like, ride that wave. Be Continue to be bold. Ride that wave. It's, it's the future you. Your future self is calling you onwards take the risk, whatever this new opportunity is, take the risk, ride the wave, it's, it's a journey into your new chapter. Wonderful news for you, pile number one, these are your June 2023 predictions, and all the best for this grand, big, new move, this upgrade in your life, you absolutely deserve it. Now, if you have enjoyed this reading pile number one, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading where we are asking for predictions for June 2023. Now you chose the rose card. Crack open. And you also chose this violet flower. Now the violet flower symbol for me symbolizes the crown chakra. And here we have a sort of double helix of the DNA strand. We have two roses um, that's giving two of cups vibes to me. And then this sword piercing through, like straight down the middle. Um, so when I first had a moment with your symbol and your card, I got kundalini awakening 
energy as well as perhaps a divine counterpart energy. We've got these um, moon phases which means that this has been a long time coming is what is coming to mind and then we have this clear bright white moon almost as if this is the crown chakra and some divine inspiration or some divine timing that has been in the mix for a very long time we see all of these spirals here time and time again um, I'm getting past lives I'm getting a strong sense of a past life um, connection coming back into this present life of yours and this has been a relationship that has been through so many lives together many many lives together Mm, very, very powerful energy, but it's quite soft, and that's kind of interesting with the rose. Um, it has those that dynamic where there's the thorns, the sharp thorns, and then there's beautiful soft um, petals and this beautiful fragrance. Let's get some more cards to get some more information for you, pile number two. I'm just bringing in the rose quartz energy into this reading. You can't quite see that. There we go. Can we please have some more symbols for pile number two? Okay, I've got three. The clouds. Okay, you can't see this yet. There's been some kind of loss. And the sun is coming out. Interesting. Some reason I'm getting more. The locket, yeah. Yeah. The dog, and we'll get the one more. The lilies, wow. Love, wow. Yeah, I had to breathe in then. That was just so powerful in the anchor. I've taken so many of these beautiful Lenormand um, cards for you, pile number two. They just kept wanting to come out to tell this story. On the bottom of the deck is the house. Oh, and the gentleman. We're going to leave the gentleman here. So the gentleman is a significant person. It can be any gender. There's, um, yeah. Okay. The gentleman can signify any gender, but it, it does signify a person. Wow, this is just so... It's such a strong energy, pile number two, but it's it's gentle. Like we've got the dog, we've got loyalty. It's like after loss, the flowers bloom again. I'm getting um, some emotion um, coming up, like tears. Like it's going to be. You're either you. You are going to meet this highly significant person in June or thereabouts. You may have just met them. You may already have um, met them. Um, when we're talking about um, spiritual energy and things that are coming in, um, spiritual energy isn't fixed to the calendar as we are in the 3D world with our um, planning. But this is coming in very soon. If not June, soon after. The flowers are blooming for you. This love, this sacred long love. This is a love that has been played out life after life after life in different in different forms but this soul this person that is coming in is absolutely loyal to you and i think what we have here with the clouds and the grave 
is that there's been this cycle of love and loss in terms of you have lived lives together like such loyal lives together and then when one passes on the there has been grieving because the love is so strong between you two the two of you are an anchor for each other and we've got the house and the anchor and we've got the locket this is like a promise like your two souls made a promise to live life after life together in this 3d world and when you're apart you can feel quite clouded like something's not quite right and then when your divine counterpart your soulmate comes in it's like the sun bursts through the clouds and that's so interesting because I wasn't um, sure whether to say but as I was preparing for your reading it's it's a very cloudy day here and the sun just broke through the clouds and then there was this massive gust of wind like a wild wind out of nowhere like it, it's not windy out there now it just blew in it blew the windows closed the sun this is powerful this is powerful this union has always been meant to be for you in this lifetime you have had many lifetimes with this person they are your sacred divine counterpart it's just so beautiful this is absolutely um, the main the core event of June um, or of this coming very soon the promise has been kept the love is going to burst forth that I think that's the thing about the wind and the, the sun bursting forth it feels like that it's just out of nowhere kind of out of the the gray day this person will just burst forth into your life and 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 then this this new um lifetime of your union will be anchored very quickly it's it's like any kind of um confusion or dissatisfaction or something not quite right um, in your life it's like this union this energy comes in and together you bloom and you get this amazing clarity we've got a third flower so this is your spiritual union to be it um, symbolizing your union so this is this is twin flame energy or like high vibrational um, divine counterparts this is a divine union whatever the name it's like together you create this whole other energy that's the thing it's not um, two halves but I am getting the locket we open the locket and there's the two halves of the locket and then we close the locket and it creates a whole um, I would never suggest that we are not whole as we are um, but in terms of two whole energies coming together to create a whole new energy this is what I'm seeing here let's go straight on to your tarot cards and see what they have to say but we're we're seeing a really clear picture of this loving loyal committed cyclical relationship this beautiful divine union is coming back into your life after a time of loss and um, twins can feel a sense of aloneness um, deep within themselves when they are born and it's tied to 
the lack of this particular energy of that the union makes there can be a sense of um, that there's someone or something missing and they feel that from from childhood like deep within themselves so there's a sense of um, confusion or doubt or unsureness and there is a sense of loss and that perhaps you were born with this deep sense of loss but without knowing what that loss signified like what that kind of deep loneliness what it was about you've been in the dark and then the sun will burst forth when you meet this person let's get our tarot cards thank you thank you thank you for this beautiful message light beings please guide us today and give us some more information for pile number two about June 2023 and um, about this relationship that is coming in for them this divine divine relationship yeah it's been a long time coming it's been a long time coming and I think you've had doubt of whether it would ever come whether it would ever arrive but there's been so much um the the words that came to mind was sort of karmic stories or karmic healing that had to take place there had to be you know we've got some teardrops here um we've got a knife we've got the dagger and the thorn so there could have been um hurts in your lifetime thus far to do with love um, perhaps there's been some sort of karmic cleansing that needed to take place um, some stories that needed to be put into balance um, yeah there's been a lot of divine timing has been um, really important in this love story both of you have had um, <laughs> the words that came to it, jobs to do before meeting there's been um, inner work so we're in the soil there's been inner work with your chakras so this is where that kundalini energy can come in um, that clearing away so we've got the dagger we're clearing away it says crack open you have been on a long journey or what feels to you like a very long journey of clearing out your um, kind of energy blockages or any um, karmic um, sort of any anything karmic that you any karmic stories that you have had to process in order to clear with the light um, has all needed to be happening um, within you and within your life before this meeting could take place but you're here now you're here now I mean yeah of course the lovers is here of course yeah it's been yeah 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 that one. Oh yeah oh, ace of cups I mean we couldn't we couldn't be more clear pile number two I'm just going to get this next one, the Empress. Okay, absolutely. The Empress, we're just going to pop over here. Yeah. We couldn't be more clear. Absolutely. This lover, your divine counterpart, is coming, is coming in soon, very soon. And this, um, the clouds, the grave, the eight of swords, the seven of swords, this energy is, has been worked through. And this is what I feel like the Empress is saying here. You have done the work. You've gone, um, 
you've done the inner work necessary and you've also done whatever you needed to do in the world in terms of perhaps your work or perhaps relationships that you've had that were designed by your soul and their soul to clear out just to heal and just to process any lingering karmic energies so you've been living your life and you have had these experiences that could have actually been really hard you have had them you've had them in your soul plan we see we see the trail of lights so the people that you've met and the experiences that you've had in your life so far they have been designed to cut quite deep not to harm you but to clear out the the unhealed energy that's the that's the word i was looking for the unhealed energy that has been within your um, spiritual body for eons we have eons here this is life after life after life so all of these karmic patterns these karmic connections i'm not meaning that this is a karmic connection at all but i mean you had a plan you and and your divine counterpart had made the plan to come and this is this is a hard road to travel this is not an easy road when we are healing our ancestral wounds and karmic wounds from lifetime upon lifetime upon lifetime that that isn't easy that can hurt it can really hurt and it can be really hard and you can feel quite lost in a sense of why why is this happening to me you're a really beautiful beautiful person pile number two you are the empress this beautiful beautiful energy and of course you've been wondering why has this happened to me what did I do to deserve this? And that's, it's just a misaligned question. You haven't brought about those experiences within this lifetime because of anything that has occurred in this particular lifetime. You have been one of the brave souls that has chosen to heal wounds that were from lifetimes ago but even from your ancestral lineage this is deep deep healing really extremely deep healing that isn't necessarily um more well, usually isn't attached to anything you've done in this lifetime and that's why it can be really confusing and it can feel unfair like why is this happening to me um I haven't done anything to deserve this but rest assured pile number two that all of this inner work that you've been doing you've bravely come to earth with this soul plan to clear out to cleanse your chakras to cleanse any karmic patterns you've been extremely brave extremely brave and your reward is is coming because your divine counterpart will have needed to go through the same process to be crystal clear to have cleared away the clouds and the wounds to have done that healing work so that you two could come together and together you could create this beautiful third energy um, really powerful very powerful energy but I also as I said before I get very gentle it's a it's a gentle union it's this union is not going to harm 
you. This is love, pure and simple. Pure and simple, like the rose. Pure, it smells beautiful. The fragrance is fresh and floral. It cleanses, it cleanses in a really gentle way. However, I do need to say that if this is a twin flame particularly, this is where the final cleansing takes place. Once this union occurs, that's where we're, we're, in, we're in right in to your healing um, journey. We're like down at the deepest, deepest area. Um, but Yeah, I still do want to say that there's a very gentle energy. It's not toxic. It's not harmful. But when we're healing, it brings up things within us to see the light of day, to have the light shone onto it so that it can be healed and it can be released. And you've already done so much work. You've already done an enormous amount of inner healing work, pole number two. And this union is passionate and it is right, it is spiritually ordained. You will know, you will know, both of you, when you encounter each other, it will, it will feel like that. It will just feel like one, one cup of love together. Both of you together sharing this one new energy between you. It will feel sacred. It will feel powerful. It will feel passionate. And it will feel right. It will feel like you've found your person, your divine counterpart. The anchor is here. The house is here. The dog is here. It, this is a loyal, gentle love for a lifetime, for the rest of this lifetime. This is a committed relationship that will shine a light on you, within you. It will bring up any, anything more to be healed for you to be your own individually healed, highly awakened person. But it will do that in a very gentle way because you've done the hard work. You've done the hard work. And you absolutely deserve this relationship that is coming in. Yeah. You've done the work. Well done, pile number two. You've been on an amazing journey that has been extremely hard at times. And yeah. I just feel, yeah, just a lot of love for you and this sacred journey that you've been on, pile number two. And I am so happy for you um, to bring this message that your divine counterpart is on their way. And this union, you will just, you will just come together. You will just clasp together like this locket as one. It's extremely beautiful. Thank you so much for um, being here with me for this reading, pile number two. Um, I sincerely wish you the most beautiful love story um, that is clearly, clearly coming in for you. Um, if you have enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And yeah, just beautiful, beautiful energy. Really loving, loving energy here. So thank you very much and I will see you next time. <laughs> Hello, pile number three. I thought with your beautiful card choice, Sage, that we would do some Sage cleansing for your reading. Mm, there's something very clouded 
in your energy or in your situation um, around you. This um, symbol that you've chosen is, is my eclipse energy symbol. So it's like something coming to light with love. So something becoming clear. And we have these, these smoky clouds in the middle of your card. We've got some old bones here. So perhaps something needs to be laid to rest. Perhaps a past situation needs to be laid to rest. And you have these helpers, these willing helpers. Um, we have the elements here as well, and we have also what kind of looks like a potion, you know, like a manifestation intention potion. So we're bringing in the water, we're bringing in the earth, we're bringing in the fire, and we're bringing in the air. And we're mixing all this together with our sage, so we're, we're clearing out, we've got the old bones, they're old bones, we're clearing those out, we're cutting chords perhaps, clearing the way, almost like you're um, wanting to divine a new future, lay the past to rest and wing in the new. Let's get some more cards um, to get a clear message for pile number three for what to expect in June 2023. You're at a very potent moment of your life and you are harnessing the powers around you to create something new to clear away the old and conjure up a, a new experience. And that is becoming clear to you. The, the experience that you would like to have and that you would like to put your um, manifestation power into is becoming clear to you in June. Perhaps you're in a bit of an in-between stage. Perhaps a relationship ended or something to do with your stability and structure in the world. Um, perhaps it was a job. Perhaps it was a home. Perhaps it was a pathway that you were on that suddenly came into question, that became clouded. Was this really... Um, the thing or the relationship or the house or the location that you wanted to invest your powerful energy into. Okay, we're going to get some more cards. Um, can we please have some more symbols? For pile number three, for June 2023. Oh, the ring. The commitment. Is some No, we're going over here again. The ring, the gentleman, the dog, and the fish. The ship and the lady. Mm. The bottom of the deck wanted to come through in the sun. Again, interesting. Um, well shuffled and integrated, cleared cards here. And yet pile number two also had the gentleman, the dog and the sun. So something to take note of, if you did feel drawn also to pile number two, you may wish to um, watch that reading. But there's something coming clear for you, pile number three, to do with a relationship and to do with perhaps staying or going. And 
that that um, that choice perhaps or that intention becoming really clear I don't know why we've got the child mm, okay we're going to get more the stalk wow okay and the mice hmm Okay, so we are asking for a clear message for predictions for June 2023. Wow, two boots and two houses. This is, hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a stay or go energy because we've got the go, go, make a move, do something new with the two boots and we've got the two houses, which is no, stay, stay. And again, sort of between our couple here, so this doesn't have to be a relationship, this could be yourself and and your job this could be yourself and your career path this could be a business that you are running um, this could be a place where you live so it doesn't have to be a relationship but it is definitely coming through with that um kind of vibe that relationship between two things whether that's two people or um, yourself and a situation so we have the dog which is loyalty and so that is a stay sentiment with the house and then we have the ship which is absolutely a go energy it's like take the journey take the risk but we have complications and that's that's what is creating this clouded um, energy within you because there's other aspects at play. It's not as simple as um, just stay or go. There's a lot of elements in the mix. You, there may be a child involved in the relationship. There may be a pregnancy Either way, there's other aspects at play um, that need to be considered when you're making this choice. When you're setting this in new intention. Let's, can we please get some tarot cards for pile number three to aid in this message about June 20. 23, the star, the sun and the star, and the sense of being trapped, hoping for more, okay, wishing for more, empress, yeah, of course, you deserve, you deserve more, you deserve the best, um, you deserve to live a life of luxury, whatever that means to you, um, whether that's a relationship that feels um, really supported and loving and a, a, a job that feels abundant or, you know, a business that is shining like a star and growing and um, makes you feel alive um, as you're creating the things for your business or running your business. Um, yeah, the tarot cards have confirmed that you have a choice to make and that is to stay in the situation that you're in or or to or to leave it mm. you're hoping you're hoping for more you hoped for more from life 
you you wanted uh, to experience you know abundance and pleasure and being loved and taken care of and loving and taken care of and um, you know all the good things and your current situation yeah I've got the um, five of swords on the back here not quite sure I think we'll just keep that as a back of the deck imagery we'll just pop it over here um, mm, high priestess you're definitely doing the inner work going within really considering everything to make that right choice for you let's get that next one the world okay okay so yes for For starters, um, June will see you come to your decision, to your clear pathway forward. At the moment, everything's um, a bit clouded, a bit unclear, because you have this enormous choice to make, to stay or to go. Um, for some reason I got um, that saying, oh, what is it? Um, something or the devil you know. It's that whole the devil you don't or the devil you know. That's not the right saying. But it's, it's that sense of I know this situation and it's not quite, there's something a little bit unfair about it. There's something um, that makes you feel um, stuck and entwined in this situation in an uncomfortable way, not in a stable um, way. There's a commitment here, so perhaps you are married or in a long-term relationship with someone. There may be children in the mix, but as I say, this could also be a career that um, you have committed to, you have invested in, and, you know, these mice, they're, they're nibbling at the cheese. It's like there's something going on on the, you know, on the outside or in the corners that doesn't feel right. And it's nibbling away at you. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like that dream come true that, that you deserve. And, um, you know, that sense of wholeness and completion and um, exuberance of living your life um, that you that you rightly want. Um, you know, we have the Empress, the star in the world. Very powerful and positive major arcana here. Like we have the word, and we can even read the sun as one of those um, major arcanas. So all good things are available to you. Your hopes and dreams can come true. Much abundance can be yours. And it's perhaps this question of do you stay and sort out what's you know, nibbling at the edges, those things that just are a bit unfair or a little bit, you know, it's just that, you know, off feeling. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but you know, when there's just something off, that something is niggling away, like, um, you know, like if you sort of are like, oh, I'm not sure if that person was telling the truth then. Or there's something a little bit off with, with the financial situation, with this um, um, business partnership I'm in. You know, it's just, so it's either you stay and you sort out those 
niggles, you address them so that you're not being um, kind of blindly affected by them anymore. Because at the moment you are, you can't see what these what these, the Five of Swords and the Mice, you can't see, with the Eight of Swords, you can't see what they are. It's not clear to you. Hmm. And this is what is going to come to light with our Eclipse symbol. This is what is going to come to light. You're going, the star and the sun is going to shine brightly on whatever this is that just has, is affecting you badly, but you just can't see clearly what exactly it is. Okay, so that's the clear message here for clear the way and our eclipse energy of something coming to light. Okay, here we go. We've got it. Whatever this dodgy energy is that's nibbling away at your happiness, essentially, at your sense of... Um, assuredness, whatever that is, that's going to come to light in June. And that is going to be the deciding factor for whether you stay or whether you go. Mm. I am feeling like we should get some more cards. To stay or to go. We're going to just get some closing oracle cards um, because this is this is the prediction for June that this situation that is keeping you suspended and stuck in this should I stay or should I go energy that whatever that icky feeling is that something's not right here that is going to come to light very strongly like like a flash, um, the sun will come in and make it crystal clear, and then your decision will be easy. Hmm. Yeah, then you will actually know all, you will see the full, this, you'll see your situation with cr crystal clarity. You'll have all the pieces. It feels a bit like a bit of a puzzle at the moment. Like you've got all these bits and pieces and these um, uncomfortable feelings of not rightness. And it's like in June, all of these things are going to become crystal clear to you. And that is what is going to inform your decision. Yes, let's get... Um, a couple of oracle cards just to close out your reading. Okay. Can we please have just some advice or some messages for pile number three? For June 2023, as they go through this process of things coming to light and decisions being made, can we please have some more information? Open your heart with compassion and fold others in love. Love yourself unconditionally and ask for help. Mm. I am getting a, um, and look to the stars, except keys and codes of stellar wisdom with the cherubim. So these are the cherubs, full of love and light, and Archangel Gersisa, create a solid spiritual foundation, be in service to the planet. So the time for now, it's about loving yourself unconditionally and focusing on what you want and what brings you 
um, joy and stability, a sense of stability that allows you to shine forth and do all the things that you want to do. You have such a glowing, loving heart. You, you are a light worker, you're a light being, and your angels are coming through to tell you to take the time to focus on yourself. This one says, let nature soothe you. So perhaps take time out, away from the situation, learn from your challenges, relax and trust. I don't know why we're getting so many of these angel cards. Enter higher planetary service, be a blazing light. Okay, so you are a light worker in this life. I'm getting one more because apparently we're going we're going crazy on the angel messages. Shimmer with diamond light, express your creativity. Yeah, you're absolutely, you're a light worker, you're a sacred being. And you need to be in a situation where you feel safe to glow, basically, to glow up, to upgrade, to shine your light, to... Um, do the things that are really important to you. So this is a time for you to take care of you. To relax, just take some time out for yourself. Some peaceful time out. Perhaps you can have a weekend away. Um, perhaps um, that some regular walks in nature, something like that, just to give yourself some time to yourself where you tend to yourself in a really loving way. Your um, pathway is creative and of shining a light to others, but at this time, while you're making these really big, this really big decision, it's time to take care of you and to nurture what makes your heart glow, what lights you up. So start focusing in on yourself, loving yourself and taking care of yourself as you would a child. And understand that you have so much to offer the world and other people and um, you know companies if it's a job. You have so much to offer and you know that. And... Take yourself away from these um, niggling, nibbling, um, icky feelings and uh, pamper yourself with the Empress. Like, if you can and it's your thing, go to a spa, get a massage, but just be alone in nature will sort of reconnect you to yourself and to your sacred journey on this, on this planet. It will reconnect you to your core values and what's important to you. Yeah, you have so much to offer and um, take the time in June to, to give time and space and love and care to yourself. And these things, these um, issues will come to light and it will become very clear to you in June what you need to do, what your North Star is, what your direction is. Your direction will become clear and then you're, you're just going to go for it. And it will, be, it will be great, it will be really fulfilling. So... This is your reading for predictions for June 2023, pile number three. Thank you so much for being here with me. And if you've enjoyed this reading, if it has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.